Good morning, afternoon, evening. Right, I missed day seven because, <coughs> excuse me, there was nothing to update. Day eight, not a great deal to update. Um, somehow this poor selfing's still alive. And um, bless him. Believe it or not, he actually looks a little bit better. I'm about to drop some food in, so we'll see if he eats. The other guys are ready to eat. There's no worsening signs on the rest of the fish. But if I'm honest, they don't seem to be acting quite right. Now, is that because they know they've got a sick tank, mate? I don't know. But let's put this food in and we shall see what happens. The chances of him eating anything is remote i'm aware of this because i think he really is on his last legs it's like some sort of horror show marine velvet's got to be the most evil of all the diseases that your fish can get i've not got the art to take him out and finish him so i'm afraid he'll have to nature will have to take its course i'm afraid as you can see the other fish are are eating perfectly well but usually they'd be all around the area drop the food in but they're not going near him it's like they know um obviously the the puffer's not too worried by it but yeah this this is this is what marine velvet is just a vile disease um the next update i'll give will be when this poor fella dies and long term, we'll see how all this goes. If I um, do decide to trap the fish and get them out, I'll do a video on that. But yeah, you can see he's not eating. It's just a matter of time for this poor fellow. What an awful way to... It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to see this. But we'll see. Um, it'll be a very long time before I add any, any more fish. We've got to be talking at least six months. Um, would anything have worked other than copper? Probably not. But like I've said all along, I didn't want to take my fish out. Cause them so much more stress. And I've always said stress will kill fish quicker than anything else. So we'll see what it's like when this poor fellow finally does go. Um, see if the other fish start acting a little more naturally again because certainly not acting naturally what I will say after using the um, Isha Udenex wide range cure my the Duncans are out the Euphilias haven't ever opened properly again hopefully in time they've not died so hopefully in time they'll pick back up and um, they'll be okay I hope this series, disastrous series, has helped give you ideas. And as I said in an earlier video, um, prevention's got to be better than the cure I've learned from this. Hopefully, anybody that's watched this will learn from it and not make the same mistakes that I've made. I won't be making them again. Um... Any questions, any tips, any help, any advice, as always, I'm more than happy to listen. So, that'll be it for now, and I'll catch up with you soon, let you know how things go. Bye.